Naga is coming into the fray for the first time after so many years. What does it tell us about the conflict, sir? Yes, the, the conflict zone has expanded now. Earlier also, Naga came up for uh, demanding portions from Ukrul and Tamenglong. Uh, I, I remember in 2002, 2003, when I was there, the Nagas came up that we should go for Greater Nagaland taking the... And they also wanted some portion of Chandel also because the population of Nagas are more. So that doesn't mean that uh, Manipur, if, we, if they lose their own territory, like that, uh, if uh, we tell now the Kerala will not be a part of India, do you mean that we will leave that one? This is not possible and Manipur cannot leave it. This is exactly what it is happening about this uh, Romi Nagas and there are small or other Naga, uh, Naga tribes uh, who have combined this. It, it is not a cookie and mighty fight which was there. Now, this is, a, this is the second problem which has come up. And the best part of it, Jeribam is the fulcrum. Jeribam is the fulcrum which should be sorted out by the government, by the state government. If they cannot sort it out with uh, paramilitary forces, it is better to deploy army in that area because it is too much. Enough is enough in that state because I can tell you today, today I spoke to Churachandpur, Kangkopi. Kanko Anybody wants to go to Kangkopi, he has to pay 50 rupees. He want to enter Churachandpur, he have to pay 50 rupees. Is it called a state? This is what is happening today. And what, uh, because of this blockade, uh, militant organizations, they are benefited. Contractors are benefited. And few of the forces also are being benefited. And the worst part of it, CRPF convoys also cannot pass from Silchar to Impal. They are also blocked at that point. This is too much which is happening in this state. And I hope so that uh, 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 Honorable Chief Minister come up to the expectation and such types of things should not be allowed to happen. He should immediately go there, call all the leaders and have a discussion with them, but then with a heavy hand. It requires a heavy hand, otherwise if we don't do it, this is what will happen like Bangladesh. But, and uh, it cannot be tolerated. I, I have spoken to cookies. I have spoken also to Nagas in those areas today only. And this is too much see, from Kankopi and uh, two districts and, and Jiribam. These three points, the state government must have to handle. If they cannot handle, I am sorry, uh, absolutely. This, then the army rules would come. This is too much for a state that uh, it is burning. Manipur is burning. And the chief minister cannot go to Jeribam. I am telling you, he cannot reach Jeribam. Is this called a state? Why he cannot do it? Why he cannot solve it? And uh, by the way, it is a, it's a BJP government. I am not political. I am telling you that uh, things are going bad to worse day by day in Manipur. And uh, what honorable... MP of Manipur stated also earlier, perhaps uh, uh, mighties are thinking in a different way. They are thinking in a different way. I don't want to speak that, but we are losing and the government is losing. Can we lose a state like this? And uh, it, it's too much, I'm telling you. We are having this, uh, we know that uh, uh, weapons, they came from Myanmar border. We know China, China's involvement. Mr. Uh, 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 our chief minister knows it, and Viran Singh knows it that China's involvement is there. That doesn't mean that we will allow China and Myanmar to penetrate and have 60,000, 70,000 people to, uh, to be there in Manipur and weapons to keep on coming. Enough is enough, I'm telling you, and I'm very frank in telling. These type of blocks are being also supported by few elements, by few elements, okay. maybe by one of us also. I am okay. telling you by one of us okay. also, okay. so that we get benefited. And this is what is happening. And the minister knows it very well.